Going south now into Galveston and one small shift in Nicholas's track and things could have turned out a lot different for the island. KPRC 2's Robert Arnold is live for us in Galveston tonight, specifically Avenue R at 59th. Robert, there was some damage, but certainly not like I, not at all. No, not even close, and certainly there is going to be a few days of cleanup ahead, and yes, while you still have some street ponding and debris out and about, all in all, the damage on the island was incredibly minimal. Ron Suarez doesn't mind a little yard cleanup in the post-storm heat, considering what the island was facing just 24 hours earlier. We really faded well. I mean... I'm so glad that we had. Islanders were bracing for flooding as streets quickly filled up. By first light, pumps were draining the water and there were no reports of structure flooding. Intense winds, on the other hand, caught some off guard. It was scary in the middle of the night. It was a, from 12 to 3. It was bad. High winds left Tammy Doyle a mess in the backyard of her home on the east end of the island. Nicholas's winds did make quick work of weaker structures like this carport and this awning, but caused no major structural damage. We saw much the same conditions on Bolivar Peninsula. Swamp streets were draining and weaker structures buckled under the winds. Sharon McCurdy lives on the peninsula, owns a small business, and is vice president of the Chamber of Commerce. Well, last night it rolled in and my house started shaking. The windows were uh, vibrating. It got a little scary there for a few. Okay. And then this morning woke up and everything was great. Gulf debris blocked Highway 87 for a time. The textile crews got it cleared. Throughout Galveston County, damage was minimal and life was quickly returning to normal. Still, Galveston County Judge Mark Henry is asking residents to fill out a damage survey. We need to get a good handle on exactly how much damage was caused by the storm for various state and federal uh, reimbursements and aid programs. At last check, about 14% of the county is still without power, but that number is going down quickly. And of course, some of the best news that we've had throughout this storm is Galveston County officials say they have received no reports of any injuries or deaths. Reporting live from Galveston, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.